Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you a morning and evening example skincare routine using the ordinary products. Keeping the focus towards hydration, boosting your collagen production to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, strengthening your skin barrier and protecting the skin. And so I'm not going into too much details about the individual products and what they can do for you, but if you want to go over the example skin routines in your own time and see a more detailed description about the price that I've picked, you will find everything in the description box down below by just clicking on the link and you can even download the PowerPoint slides. Plus, in the description box, you will find the timestamps as well. Now, I want to get started with the morning skincare routine and then later on we are moving towards the evening. So let's look into what the morning skincare routine will look like, as you can see right here. On the top corner, you can see the time of use. Below that, you can see the steps, then the products that I've picked already in the correct order of application. And then underneath the boxes, you will see the overall general guide. So we're going to get started with the first step, which is either washing your face with purely water or a gentle cleanser that's suitable for your skin and type to remove an excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin. Wash your face, rinse it off, pat the skin dry. Then move on to hydration, which is going to be the ordinary marine hyaluronics. Apply to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then you're going to follow with a peptide serum. Now this can be a buffet or buffet cover peptides. So so that you have an idea of what you can choose. Apply it to the skin and leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then it is important to follow with sun protection and during daytime to protect the skin from the damaging UV rays. And you can see two examples right here. This can be a mineral sunscreen such as Neot Survival or Cosovex Aloe Soothing, which is a mixture of mineral and chemical or just purely a chemical. Just make sure that it feels comfortable on the skin and it does not irritate your skin in any way. Once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then this would be the last step in your morning skincare routine. And so those are now the steps that I want to share with you as well so that you can see the entire application visually if you're trying to recreate this routine at home. And so again, we're going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face. Now I have the example cleansers right here, or again, in the morning, it's fine to wash your face with lukewarm water. So I'm going to use a cleanser and I'm going to use a Cetaphil's Gentle Skin Cleanser, which is, for example, great for dry skin or sensitive skin. And usually cleansers in general, like the most common method would be apply to wet skin and then rinse it off with water. However, if you should have a different cleanser, sometimes they will change the directions that it specifically says apply to dry skin and then later on rinse it off with water. So either way is fine, just make sure to adjust it accordingly to the cleanser that you're using. And you can wash your face above the sink or in the shower. Just make sure that you can properly get off everything from the skin before you're moving on to your first zone that you then are going to apply to the skin and leave on the skin. And so in this example, I'm going to wet my face now at first, use a bit of the cleanser and then we're going to rinse it off. Every time you're waking with water, I recommend using lukewarm water to warm water so it feels comfortable on the skin when doing so. So let's get started. Now go ahead and use about one to two palms, or about a coin size amount of cleanser on the palm of your hand. Like so. Then gently massage it between your hands and then massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, rinse it with water. So, and now you can go ahead and rinse it off with water. Now, when doing this above the sink especially, using your hands alone may not be enough and you usually always have some residue left of your cleanser in the morning and then maybe even sunscreen and makeup in the evening. So therefore, I always recommend using a clean washcloth. Those makeup cloths, those microfiber cloths, those are usually very gentle on the skin and yet extremely effective to get everything off the skin. So in between, once you have rinsed most of it off, you can wet it then squeeze it out and then gently swipe it across your face before rinsing it again. Now 
now wetted. And now go ahead and squeeze it out. And then gently swipe it over your face and neck. So now go ahead and take a clean towel and remove the remaining water drops from the skin surface by gently patting all over. Please do not rub. Now this can help you to avoid pilling and avoid an uncomfortable feeling such as a dryness feeling or even a tight feeling. So, and once you're done with your cleansing step, you can immediately move on to the next step. Now it's time to add hydration to the skin using the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics. Now that one has a very lightweight water-like texture, so I recommend using between 5 to 10 drops. Otherwise, it may not be enough to blend it all over because it absorbs so fast into the skin. And so when doing the application, you can use it all over. Just again, make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Rub your hands together and then blend it all over. So once you're done with the application, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And now you can move on to the next step to boost your collagen production to help you with your skin elasticity and firmness. And then this would be either apply buffet or buffet copper peptides. Now buffet in general has a nice mixture of different peptides, therefore it can work in several different ways. And so therefore this is the reason why I've picked them. And so when doing the application, I recommend using about three drops for your face and about two drops for your neck so that you have enough to blend it all over. If you feel like this should be a bit too much you can always reduce it so make sure to adjust it but I wouldn't use more than that otherwise it may feel quite sticky on the skin or a bit smeary. So you should use enough that you can blend it all over but it should be able to absorb into the skin and not sit on the skin as surface. And so I recommend, first of all, again, not getting it into your eyes nor into your mouth. And please do not use it on top of your eyelids, nor getting it too close to the actual lower lash line. Then rub your hands together and then blend it all over. And so once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And now you're going to move on to the last step in your morning skincare routine, which is protecting the skin with a sunscreen from the damaging UV rays. So this can be a mineral sunscreen, such as I have right here, Survival 30 by Neot, or maybe a mixture of chemical and mineral, such as Cosorex, or maybe just purely a chemical. Whatever you're going to choose, make sure it feels comfortable on the skin and it shouldn't irritate your skin in any way. Especially when it comes to around the eyes, you can use your sunscreen around the eyes, but if it irritates your eyes, avoid this part, use sunglasses instead or replace your sunscreen. Apply 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. And when it comes to the amount, as a general guide for your face, neck and ears, this should be about let's say half a teaspoon. If you have more decolletage exposure, go with about one teaspoon, otherwise it may not be enough. You need to use a fair amount to blend it properly all over. Of course, if you now say, well, I'm ending up with too much product, I still have so much left on my hands, it feels too thick on the skin, well then of course reduce it. But please make sure to still use enough to blend it evenly and thinly all over. And so I'm going to use Neot Survival 30 as an example. If you should have such a fluid um, sunscreen, you can give it a good shake, but usually with creams, this may even not be needed. And I have half a teaspoon right here, so I can show you the amount. So about that much, then dispense it on the palm of your hand. And now blend it all over your face and neck, or even maybe your decolletage, and don't forget your ears.
So, and this is going to be the last step in your morning skincare routine. And this is not an example routine that I wanna share with you. But now let's head into the evening part. So when it comes to the evening example skincare routine, I have split it up in two examples because we're working with an exfoliant and with active retinoid so that we can reduce signs of sensitivity and have a frequency guide in mind. It isn't wrong to use them in the same routine, but especially in the beginning, I recommend using them in different routines so that you can see what your skin can tolerate. And so I want to get started with the first example, which you can see right here. One thing that won't change for both of them is going to be your cleansing step, which needs to be adjusted accordingly to the sunscreen and makeup that you have worn throughout the day. So if you have, for example, used a sunscreen such as Cosrx Always Soothing Sunscreen, and maybe use on top of it a light makeup, this should be able to properly come off with your regular cleanser. And then you can follow the same method as I already showed you in the morning routine. However, if you went with a mineral sunscreen, such as Neot Survivor 30, or maybe not a mineral sunscreen, and you may have used waterproof makeup or extremely pigmented makeup, using your regular cleanser won't get it off properly. And so therefore I recommend either just using an oil or balm cleanser on its own, which is able to break it down in one go, and then there you have it, or in case you do not really like the residue that it may leave behind, you can do a double cleanse and then use your regular cleanser afterwards to properly get everything off the skin. You can do this above the sink, however, if you have applied your sunscreen on your ears, decolletage and maybe your body as well, I highly recommend doing this in the shower. If you want to see such a detailed video, I have it for you in the top right corner since I have already washed my face so I can immediately get started with the entire application. And so when looking into the first example, this is where we are going to use the exfoliant. So after your cleansing step, you're moving on to the exfoliant, which is the ordinary glycolic acid or lactic acid, and those are leave-on exfoliating acids. So once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And you're going to use the exfoliant two to three times per week. I recommend not overdoing it, because otherwise, again, the more often you're going to exfoliate the skin, the more likely you can come across signs of sensitivity such as stinging or burning on the skin, especially when using a retinoid or active retinoid as well. So please keep the frequency in mind. You do not want to overdo it. After that, you can add hydration to the skin with, again, the ordinary marine hyaluronics. Apply to the skin, leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then follow on with a moisturizer afterwards. Now, since we want to strengthen and rebuild the skin barrier, what can decrease as we age and due to like unprotected sun exposure is the natural moisturizing factors within the skin cells. And this may be the cause why you have dry and dull looking skin and maybe aged skin, like experiencing fine lines and wrinkles. And so to strengthen this, you need to have a moisturizer that contains as like loads of amino acids, fatty acids, or extremely hydrating ingredients, or even hyaluronic acid that can help you to plumb the skin and hydrate the skin. So those are just a few examples, but all those components play a big role to strengthen the skin barrier. And so based on that, I have picked Neot's hydration vaccine or the ordinary natural moisturizing factors, which you then can apply to the skin and then leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. So this will be one example routine that you're going to do a few times per week. Week. On the other days, you're going to include your Renactive Retinoid. Now, I specifically pick that one in Emulsion because, first of all, it works on all skin types, doesn't feel too heavy or oily on the skin. And second of all, it is less likely to cause signs of irritation compared to a retinol product. So therefore I went with this one. And so you're going to, again, after cleansing step, add hydration to the skin, then you're moving on to your granactive retinoid and then your natural moisturizing factors. And then there you have another example routine that you can do on days when not using your exfoliant. Now, especially in the beginning, if you're being new to a exfoliant and a granactive retinoid and you're unsure how your skin is going to respond to it, well, I recommend keeping them separate. Over time, if you feel like, well, you could use them together, it isn't wrong. You could go ahead and do so. This is what I'm sharing with you in this routine as well, because then you can see the entire application. But still, you need to keep the frequency in mind of how much you can use your exfoliant or granactive retinoid. So even when using them together, you may not want to use your exfoliant daily. You may not want to use your granactive retinoid daily. So please keep the frequency in guide, which is in mind, which is very individual depending on your skin tolerance and overall needs. 
But nonetheless, I now want to share with you the entire application. So I have already washed my face. Everything is off the skin. It is freshly washed and clean. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be the exfoliant. So again, glycolic acid or lactic acid. In this example, I'm going to go with lactic acid, which is in a serum bottle. One thing that won't change is how much you're going to use. Both have a very similar texture. So as a general guide, you can use about five to 10 drops so that you can evenly apply it all over your face and neck. With lactic acid, you could use a bit less, five to eight drops, but otherwise it may feel a bit sticky on the skin. But nonetheless, you should have enough product to blend it evenly all over, and it should absorb into the skin and not sit on the skin surface. Please avoid your eyes, like in general, do not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Please do not use it on top of your eyelids. Please do not get it too close to the actual lower lash line and be careful on the eye contour, especially if you have sensitivity right here. Avoid this part. This is what they advise uh, to do as well. So therefore, keep those areas in mind, but for the rest, you can just evenly blend it all over. Blend it between your hands and then evenly do the application. If you like to, you can apply the drops immediately to your face as well. That's fine too. Just make sure to get in every corner. So, and once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. So once you have applied your exfoliant, you now can move on to hydration, which is again the ordinary marine hyaluronics. So you have already seen the application of it. So just use a few drops in the palm of your hand and then apply it on top of your exfoliant. So once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now, if this is going to be your first example evening skincare routine, you can immediately move on to the natural moisturizing factors, of course, and then there you have it. However, I want to merge them together, and now I'm going to move on to the next step, which is the application of the granactive retinoid in emulsion. So once it's open, please don't forget to put it in a fridge. And so with the application, again, please do not get it into your eyes, nor into your mouth. Please do not use it on top of your eyelids, nor too close to the actual lower lash line. You can use it on the eye contour if that's fine for your eye contour. If sensitivity occurs, please avoid it. But make sure to not get it too close to the actual corners of your eyes, nor maybe nose if you have a bit of sensitivity there, or even too close to the actual lip. Because again, those are more sensitive parts of the skin, so therefore be mindful when doing the application. And so it has like a mid-liquidish texture, it's not too thick and sticky, but more like water. So therefore you can go with about three drops for your face and then two drops for your neck. This should be more than enough. Rub it between your hands and then evenly blend it all over. So, and once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And now you can move on to the last step in your evening skincare routine, which is your moisturizer. So I have two examples right here. I have the hydration vaccine by Nyot or the ordinary natural moisturizing factors. Either one of them is fine. As an example, I'm going to use the one by Nyot so that you can see this application as well. They usually come with a little spoon because it is in a jar, but overall you can go with about a pea size amount to a bean size amount. This mainly depends on how hydrating the routine already feels on the skin. If you do not necessarily feel the need to use something afterwards, use a pea size amount so that you can apply thinly all over. Otherwise, go with about a bean size amount. And then apply it all over your face and neck, making sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. And so once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it 
on and then this is the last step of your evening skincare routine. Now if you want to go over the PowerPoint slides again in your own time, you want to see the detailed description about each product that I've picked, you will find everything in the description box down below and you can even download the slides. Now this should give you an idea of what a routine can look like when keeping the main focus towards ordinary products and working with their anti-aging products. And I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video, but you will find more of them on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincare! Bye!